Now, say to situation how you want it to be, not how it is. The Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. And those who love it, they eat thereof. There is a scripture I so much love these days. These days. I love that scripture. First Peter chapter 3 verse 10. He said, For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no God. Be very careful. Don't speak negative. Don't speak negative. Be careful. I usually tell people to pray is easy. Confession is the most difficult thing. Many times we finish praying. The next confession nullify the prayer you just pray. How can we just pray? We declare, we declare, we declare. After you just want to meet and greet me here. I say, sir, this is my problem. Don't call it your problem again. He has carried it away. Can somebody say, man? There is power in your tongue. Don't say negative to yourself. Do you hear what I've just said now? How do you want that situation to be? So keep talking to it like that. Don't say what you are seeing. Say what you want to see. I told people in church recently, I said, many, many times we talk about problem, but we don't talk to the problem. There's a difference between talking about problem and talking to problem. When the situation of the earth was chaotic in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says everywhere was without order, there is darkness everywhere. Even the Spirit of God couldn't do anything. Then God began to speak. Now, what he said, we have to be very, very careful to check it. It just looked darkness everywhere and said, let there be light. And there was light. Not that he's complaining. Eh? What are we going to do about this darkness now? Eh? Darkness everywhere. Darkness. You look back. Darkness. You look front. Darkness. You look everywhere. Darkness. And one of the major things that made God to kill many of Israelites in the wilderness is murmuring. So be careful. You are going through a situation. But there is a situation in your heart you want it to look like. Start saying that one. Sooner or later what you are saying you will see it. It doesn't matter what you know. You will only see what you say. It doesn't matter what you know. You will only see what you say. You will only see what you say. You will only see what you say. The way I practiced my faith when I was coming up, I practice it like I'm just joking. When we were to do yesterday, I never knocked my house, the door. I never knocked. I always on. Papa, pa, who is in this house? Come and open the gate. Because I desire car. So today, they are opening gate for me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? What stops you from writing the name of your husband that you want to marry? I put it on the wall. I say, Mr. Shegu, you know you are coming late. Come on time. Because you like Shegu. Come on time. Come on time. I'm waiting for you. Your bride is waiting for you here. It's not a joke. Keep saying it. Sooner or later, you just see that Mr. Shegu walking. So fight me negative words. It doesn't matter what you know, you will only see what you say. 